We're moving into pumpkin pie season and pumpkin pie would not be pumpkin pie without the pumpkin spices that are blended into the batter. Probably a lot of you have been enjoying pumpkin spice lattes at your favorite coffee shop. Pumpkin pie spice is a mix of rich flavor, just a harmonious blend that is just part of the season. And I've discovered that I prefer to mix up my own pumpkin pie spice blend because then I know that it's fresh and it tastes just the way I want it to taste. Usually there's five different spices mixed into a pumpkin pie spice blend and depending on the brand every pumpkin spice mix will taste different. So another reason I like to mix up my own. So I'm going to start with cinnamon and use um, two tablespoons of cinnamon. I'm going to mix up a spice blend that will come to about a quarter of a cup when I finished. So two tablespoons of cinnamon and then I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of nutmeg. And I like to buy just the nuts and then I grate them on a real sharp grater and then you get the really best flavor. And then ginger. Ginger has that bright zingy flavor. And I'll put a teaspoon of ground ginger in. Now you'll notice this is in a jar. And the reason is because when I bring home my spices from the bulk section, I just put them in the same jar. I mean, these jars I've had for years. I just keep refilling them with my, with my spices. And then I'm going to add a little bit of allspice. Allspice is one of those spices that seems to lose its nice fragrance and its flavor really quickly. So it's another good reason to buy it in a small amount. And last but not least, we're going to add one teaspoon of ground cloves. Cloves have a really strong flavor, but really this spice is a must in your pumpkin spice mix. <laughs> so I'm gonna stir this up with my little whisk. This mix is a natural in pumpkin pie and pumpkin bread, of course, but it's also really good when you add just a teaspoon to your drip coffee maker when you're making coffee in the morning. Add a little bit to the uh, butter that you pour over your popcorn and a little bit of honey added to it. It's delicious. So butter, honey, and a little bit of this mix just to taste. And add about a teaspoon to a quart of apple cider and heat it up. It's just so nice to have this around in the fall. Pumpkin spice mix. It's delicious and it's so easy to make your own. Enjoy it while it's fresh. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.